Hey guys, today we're going to start multiplying polynomials. So when we're multiplying, you can choose one of two methods. You can either do it two ways by doing the distributing or the rainbow method, or you can use the box method. I'll show you both, and you can use whichever one that you want. In the rainbow method, what you need to do is you take the first term and multiply it to the first term in the other parentheses. So 5x times 2x is 10x squared, because remember you have to add the exponents. Then you also need to multiply the first term to the second term in the other parentheses. So 5x times 3 is 15x. Now you have to take the second term in the first parentheses and multiply it to the first term in the other parentheses. So 2 times 2x times 7 is 14x. Then, got to take that second term and multiply it to the last term of the other parentheses. 7 times 3 is 21. So you should get four terms, and then you combine like terms. Remember, your answer has to be in standard form. So your highest exponent comes first. The only thing that I can combine here is 15x's and 14x's. That's going to make 29x, and then I don't have anything else to combine with the 21, so bring it down. So there's a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 10, a degree of 2, and a constant of 21. So this one is the rainbow method, or you could instead use the box method. So here's how the box method works. You're literally going to draw a box. All right. This first term, 5x plus 7, put your 5x, put your 7. Then you take your second term and you write it on the other side of the outside of the box. So 2x and 3. When there's no signs on them, it means it's positive. If it's negative, you put the negative sign. Now, you just multiply where the boxes would intersect. So 5x times 2x, that gives you 10x squared. Then, 2x times 7 would give you 14x. Then, 5 times 3 would give you 15x. And finally, 7 times 3 would give us 21. And you still write your answer in standard form. This is your biggest exponent. You don't have any other x squareds, so 10x squared. Now look, you have a 15x and a 14x. You can combine those. There's your 29x. And then remember, you have this 21 left, so plus 21. So you get the exact same answers. One's called the rainbow method, one's called the box method. I'm going to primarily use the box method because we're going to need it for the upcoming things we're going to do in this unit. But if you really love the rainbow method, you can go ahead and do that too. All right, so now I have three terms. <clears throat> so when I have three terms here and I have two terms here, Obviously, I have to draw a different kind of box. <coughs> there we go. Because now, I'm going to put the green one on top, the x squared, the 3x, and the negative 8, and then I'm going to put the red one on the side. Now we're just going to multiply where they intersect. <coughs> so the first one x squared times x, remember, you have to add your exponents. So 2 plus 1 gives you 3, so that's x cubed. <clears throat> x times 3x, again, add your exponents, so that's 3x squared. And then x times negative 8 would give you negative 8x. Now I'm going to do the bottom row. 2 times x squared 
is going to give us 2x squared. 2 times 3x gives us 6x. And finally, 2 times negative 8 gives us negative, oops, negative 16. So now <clears throat> we have to see what terms I can combine. Get rid of that so we can see a little better. There we go. So you want to start with your highest exponent first. So my biggest exponent is x cubed. I don't have any other x cubes, so I'm going to bring it down. Now I can see some like terms here. I see that I have a 2x squared and a 3x squared. So add those together. That gives me 5x squared. I also see I have 6x minus 8x, which gives me negative 2x. And then, don't forget, you still have this minus 16, so minus 16 has to come down to your answer. So now for this one, since it's four terms, this one has to be called a polynomial. Its leading coefficient would be 1. Its constant would be negative 16, because that one doesn't have an x on it. And its degree would be 3. For those of you that really, really, really love the rainbow method, I will show it to you. This is going to be the last time I show the rainbow method today because you're going to have to do it three times, both times. So here goes. x times x squared gives you x to the third. Then x times 3x gives you... 3x squared, because you got to add your exponents. Then x times negative 8 is going to give you negative 8x. But now you got to do it three more times with the 2. So 2 times 2x, or 2 times x squared is 2x squared. Um, 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. So again, if you're going to combine like terms now, x cubed goes first. Now I have my like terms. I have a 3x squared plus a 2x squared. That gives me 5x squared. Then you have a negative 8x plus a 6x. That's negative 2x. And bring your minus 16. So you see how they're still the same thing? So rainbow still works. It's just some people like the rainbow better. Some people like the box method better. Pick which one you like and stick with it. All right, let's look at the next example. So now check this out. Do you see how you have something right in front of those parentheses? We have to distribute that first before we can do anything else. Remember, you have to add those exponents. So 3x times x is 3x squared. Then 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. So now I have to take that entire term, so I'm going to put in parentheses, and I have to multiply it to the other set of parentheses that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the box method for this one. So I'll put the green one on top. I'll put the blue one on the side, and now we'll fill in the box. So here we go. x squared times 3x squared is going to give you 3x to the fourth, because remember you're adding those exponents. Then negative 4x times 3x squared is negative 12x to the third, because remember you got to add those exponents again. And then 6 times 3x squared is 18x squared. All right, now for the brown or the bottom one, x squared times negative 9x is negative 9x to the third. Negative 4x times negative 9x is 36x squared because you got to add your exponents again. 
And then your last box, 6 times negative 9x is negative 54x. So now let's look for some like terms that we can combine here. I see that my biggest exponent is a 4. So I have this 3x to the 4th, and I don't have any other x to the 4th, so that's going to be the first one that I have. Now I see I have a ne negative 9x to the 3rd and a negative 12x to the 3rd. That's going to give us negative 21x to the 3rd. Next like terms I see, I have a 36x squared plus an 18x squared. That's going to give us 54x squared, because remember, you just add the numbers, leave the exponents, and then I have this number left over, so I'm going to bring down negative 54x. And that's going to be my final answer. Um, remember, that is called a polynomial because it has four terms. It has a leading coefficient of 3, a degree of 4, and there is no constant because there is no number without an x squared. All right, let's try again. Again, I'm going to do the box method here. So I'll put the trinomial on top. And I'm going to put the binomial on the side. <clears throat> and now let's multiply. Let's fill in the boxes. Remember, we're adding our exponents. So x times x squared is x to the third. x times 3x is 3x squared. And x times 3 is 3x. Now let's do the bottom one. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x, and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So my biggest exponent that I see is x to the third, so that goes first. After x to the third, I'm going to do my x squared. So 3x squared minus 2x squared leaves me with 1x squared. Now I have to do my x's. 3 minus 6 is negative 3x, and then bring down your minus 6. So again, I have a polynomial. Its leading coefficient is 1, its degree is 3, and its constant would be negative 6. All right, in number 4, this number tells you how many times to multiply. So there's a 2 there. So that means I want to take 3x to the 4th 2 times, or 3x plus 4 and 3x plus 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and box that. That's a small box. On the top, put 3x plus 4. On the side, put your other 3x and your 4. Now let's go fill in the boxes. 3x times 3x is going to give you 9x squared, because remember you got to add those exponents, and 3x times 4 is 12x. Now for the bottom, 4 times 3x is 12x, and 4 times 4 is 16. I see the biggest x that I have is 9x squared, so after x squared comes regular x's, so 12x plus 12x is 24x and then bring your plus 16. So this time I have a trinomial. Its leading coefficient is 9, its degree is 2, and it has a constant of 16. And yes, you could also call that a polynomial. That would also be fine. All right, on to the back. Now I gave you a trinomial and I asked you to multiply it by a trinomial. So you're going to need a bigger box for this one. So I'll put the top one here, ax squared, 3x, and negative 5. And then we'll put the other one on the side. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to fill in the box. 
Don't forget, you got to add your exponents. So a squared times a squared is a to the fourth. Add those exponents. 3a times a squared is 3a to the third, because i got to add those exponents. And negative 5 times a squared is negative 5a squared. Okay, next row. 6a times a squared is 6a to the third, because i got to add these exponents. 3a times 6a is 18a squared, because I'm adding those exponents. And 6a times negative 5 is negative 30a. Oops, I already used boot. All right, now let's do the bottom one. 1 times a squared is just a squared. 1 times 3a, just 3a. And 1 times negative 5 is still negative 5. Okay, the biggest exponent that you see there is a to the 4th. I don't have any other a to the 4th, so I bring it down. Now I'm looking for like terms. I see a 6a to the 3rd plus a 3a to the 3rd. That's going to give us 9a to the 3rd. After a to the 3rd would come a squared. So I have a 1a squared plus an 18a squared minus a 5a squared. So that is going to leave us with 14a squared. Then I have a 3a minus a 30a, so that's negative 27a's, and then just bring down your constant of negative 5. So that one is definitely called a polynomial. It has a leading coefficient of 1, a degree of 4, and a constant of negative 5. <clears throat> Alright, let's do another big one like that just to make sure. I'm going to draw a big box. I'll put the top one, or the first one on top. <coughs> put the second one along the side. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in the box. Here goes. 2x squared times x squared, 2x to the fourth. Add those exponents. Negative 6x times x squared, negative 6x to the third. Again, add those exponents. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Next row. 2x squared times 5x is 10x to the third. 5x times negative 6x is negative 30x squared, because again, you got to add those exponents. And 3 times 5x is 15x. Okay, last one on the bottom. Negative 1 times 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times negative 6x is positive 6x. And negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Biggest exponent I see is x to the 4th, so that's what I'm going to start with, my 2x to the 4th. Now let's combine like terms. I have a 10x to the 3rd minus a 6x to the 3rd. That's going to give me 4x to the 3rd. Okay, now for my x squared. I have negative 2x squared, negative 30x squared, and 3x squared. That's going to give me negative 29x squared. Now we'll do our x's. 6x and 15x is going to give us 21x's, and then bring down your constant of minus 3. So that is definitely a polynomial. It has a leading coefficient of 2. It has a degree of 4 and a constant of negative 3. All right, and one more. This one's a smaller box because it's only a 2 by a 3. Um, so well, I'll put the trinomial on top. So 3. 3x squared minus 5x plus 2, and we'll put the binomial on the side, x and 2. All right, let's fill them in. 3x squared times x is 3x to the third. x times negative 5x is negative 5x squared, because you got to add those exponents, and 2 times x is 2x. 
All right, next one. 3x squared times 2 is 6x squared. 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. And 2 times 2 is 4. So look for your biggest exponent. I think that's 3. So keep the 3x to the third. Now let's combine. 6x squared minus 5x squared is just going to be 1x squared or x squared. Now let's do our x's. Negative 10x plus 2x would give us negative 8x. And then bring down your constant of plus 4. So this would be called a polynomial. It would have a leading coefficient of 3. It would have a degree of 3 and a constant of 4. So now you can go do practice set 7.4 on page 47 in your